Nope, I want this. There we go. Now just gotta wait for. All right, and we are good on YouTube. So, all right, everybody, welcome <coughs> to uh, Critics Not Cynics again. Uh, we're here live streaming uh, the second game in the Dark Pictures anthology. Uh, franchise and tonight uh, I'm not joined by Pat but I am joined by Johnny and if you're not familiar with Johnny Johnny was uh, one of our guest hosts on the Dune review so Johnny how's it going it's going well how are you doing man <laughs> I'm doing all right uh, thank you for the last minute join uh, and uh, you know joining me on here so I'm not just rambling to myself which you know I, we, we both know I'm good at doing um, but hey, it's I, all right if you talk to yourself. Just don't answer. Well, no, I answer myself. Maybe not on oh, a live. No. Maybe not on a live stream, but I do answer myself <laughs> from time to time. But that's what happens when uh, when you live on your own, lonesome. Uh, so yeah, I you know I've never. I don't think for all the years uh, I've known you, I don't think I've ever asked you. Are you are you a horror fan, or do you you know mind horror at all? I'm not a horror fan at all. Like, I've seen a couple, but they're all just like, this is dumb, or it's just a, you know, a slasher flick, which doesn't interest me at all. Uh, like, I've seen, like, Ghost Ship and The Grudge and uh, one or two of the Nightmare on Elm Streets, and I'm just like, yeah, this isn't my genre. <laughs> <laughs> well, it absolutely is my genre, but, like, I I, I think what, what will be kind of fun on, on this and... Uh, you know, if I if I could figure out how to do the friends pass, which you know we were talking before we went live, um, I was seeing some issues with with people who were trying to do the friends pass for this game. Uh, you know, it would be interesting to have played with someone, especially someone who's not that big into the horror genre, um, and see how they interact. Because I think like that perspective of oh these people are stupid or why make that choice why go why go left when you should be going right. Uh, this is the type of game I think like is is perfect for those type of people because they do such a good job I think with giving you what seems like the rational choice and uh, even when you take it you're you're screwed. Um, so if you guys watched the last uh, set of streams the uh, the playlist is all up for Man of Medan. I managed to get only one person killed. Um, so I. I was hoping I could get Conrad alive, but I'm I'm never going to get him alive out of that game. <laughs> um, this game now, when I originally played it um, last year, I managed to get everyone but one person out. So we'll see if uh, if I can manage to at least either do the same or do better this time. Um, now I'm not going to spoil anything for this one as we play through because especially with Johnny he, Johnny being here today, uh, there's going to I'm sure there are going to be some questions as to certain things that uh, happen near the beginning. Cause like, even I remember when I played it, I was like, w wait a minute, what's going on here? Um, this one is my favorite so far out of the series because it's, it's twist. As we saw, there was a twist with man of Medan. There's a twist with house of ashes, actually a twist with house of ashes that I think you, Johnny, knowing what genre you do like, um, you might actually appreciate, uh, but yeah, this one has the best twist out of all of them, and it's very emotional, and I think it's very uh, poignant and just re really well done. And I think that's why this one uh, kind of lands as my favorite out of all of them. Um, but just a, a quick plug for Monday's uh, podcast episode: we are reviewing um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, Pat may be on that one, uh, but I do know that my brother, who has been incessantly uh, texting me about that movie and every every single day since uh he got his tickets for it and maybe a little <laughs> bit more uh you know he had to feel like he had to give me a daily update so i know um he is actually seeing that right now as we speak so i'm sure he's very happy to be watching that movie but that will be coming up um so hopefully anyone that's checking this out will check that one out we're gonna have a very interesting discussion we're gonna talk a little bit about legacy of ghostbusters um talk about what did the 2016 film do wrong and then go into kind of uh some of the other stuff a little bit more structured review like we did with dune so uh be sure to check that out on monday um but with any further ado uh, let's go ahead and 
and jump into it. Well, for your Ghostbusters review, are you going to discuss the video game at all, or are you just going to do the movies? Um, well, so not to spoil anything from the film, um, I think we're only going to be talking about the movie. Uh, uh, okay. Well, in more, in more specifics, and this isn't really a spoiler, but like, two is not really acknowledged in the film at all either. Um, outside okay, I, of, I, I did hear rumors that the that they weren't going to, to weren't acknowledging two. Now it doesn't mean that two didn't happen, but the events of two do not really get acknowledged outside of like Ray's occult um, bookstore. So, um, yeah, I don't I don't know if they're just going straight f- as a straight sequel from Ghostbusters um, one or if maybe somewhere if they do a sequel to this and launch a whole new franchise. Um, if that will, if that will come up later, if they'll revisit Vigo uh, or not. But, um, so I think that that's why we're going to just kind of, we, we may talk about the, the video game and the legacy portion of the, of the podcast. Um, uh, we'll just have to know once we, uh, once we sit down and we record that. So, all right. Fair enough. Now I know it does say continue, but I didn't really actually play this, but I'm going to go ahead and click on new story just, uh, just to be safe new slot uh yep i'm not doing a controller so i should be doing a controller because mouse and uh keyboard were i think at the play for why uh conrad got killed i'm just gonna blame it on that and not at my well, aptitude you're, you're playing on steam right uh yes i am playing on steam it does have controller support yeah, like you should be able to plug in a PS4 or an Xbox controller in it, into it. I, I could. I just uh, have not taken the time or the effort. <laughs> I actually do have a uh, a controller that's made for for a computer. I just um, just yeah haven't really managed to actually do anything with it. And also just trying to force myself to be more as uh, Pat would call it uh, an actual gamer, since I'm now. Got a whole PC set up. Oh, so he's gatekeeping the uh, gamer status, huh? Oh, yeah. Trust me. The reason this PC that I have now happened is because he has shamed me into getting a PC. Now, to be (laughs) fair, though, it was also kind of a, hey, I need to upgrade stuff for the podcast, and I can't just all do that on my MacBook with limited space. So uh, it, it, it serves a dual purpose. But it did not serve my bank account a dual purpose. Usually doesn't. I would say I still kind of prefer to play games on console because it's just grown up consoles, and we've never had a we never had a PC system that was necessarily good enough to run games. Um, but I do like playing my MMOs more on PC than I do on console. I could see that, uh, just because MMOs usually have a lot more commands that you need to uh, worry about. Yeah, Final Fantasy fourteen. like, I was able to get kind of used to the um, the rotation, but it's... I'm still not fully used to it on uh, on PC either, but, like, the fact that I have them all laid out in front of me is, is a little bit better. Thanks for pulling over. Oh, I forgot to turn sure. subtitles on. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had oh, yeah. Uh, you will have to uh, right. bear with me when, when I read any documents that I find, since I will read those for the audience, and you okay, buddy? maybe I will find you more typos confused. like I found in Man of Medan. Yeah, like, I am investigation, or however they had it get worded. Folks to where they need to be. Oh, I doubt a uh, short delay will try were those like finish. supposed to be intentional typos? No. Like, oh, this is what somebody wrote, or no, they actually... It, it was definitely a typo. Because it was an actual report to, like, a a CO on the ship or something. And it was just, like, it was just totally blatant. Like, I could have, if it had been one where it was, like, um, a little jumbled with, like, crazy ramblings in the middle of it, like, I would have been like, oh, yeah, that that makes sense. But, no, it was a straight-up report to a CO. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Sorry to pause this here real quick. It bothers me I didn't have the, uh, the subtitles on. Uh, all okay. There we go. Get back to it. This bus driver here is going to be a center of the mystery a little bit. 
You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Yeah, I didn't notice there was like a weird uh, thing when the the cop asked him something like. Oh, so sure if, like, his, yeah, he was asking him, or he was telling him he's got to get these folks home, but there was there were no there were no noises like we're hearing right now. Right. We're going the wrong way. It's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? And there's your first jump scare for the game. Oh no, he hit Wesley Adams. <laughs> or did he? <laughs> I don't know how a bearing is updated with, like, actually having done nothing yet in the game. Of course, I never really follow the bearings and, like, the character relationship stuff of the of the game. I just play it. What does that mean, bearing updated? So it's, um, it usually typically has to do with the choices that you made. Um, so if you think about the Telltale games, like when you make one certain choice, it affects certain things that come out later. Stop it, James. Oh, like Telltale games try to make you think was important but never was. Yeah, basically. I think they do the same thing in the new Guardians of the Galaxy game. Can you believe they are at each uh, other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise! Oh. I just caught the Pat, game if with the guy. you were listening, she was talking to you. It. That's not it. Never is. <laughs> There's talk. Some of us maybe. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the uh, saying that for years. Extreme with Pat, and I was like, do, do I need to Megan. drink something in order for this? Or? <laughs> she looks okay to me. You're Everything more than welcome okay to if you want. Ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after Fort press Sam. today. Just about out of beer. The only thing I have left She's to drink right. is an ice it's wine. Serious, you know, James. you and Pat are basically the same person. I can't deal uh, with this right you know, his family now. owns a brewery, and you, you brew can't your deal own with beer. Anything. When would be the yeah, right time? It, it's very fun. I just haven't been able to do Getting much lately, just because uh, I've had so much overtime at work. Single-handedly keeping our family together is far from nothing in my book. Uh, finally on a uh, little hand. vacation from work here own. for the None Thanksgiving week, happen. so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited to have Don't the whole you week off. You're not the only me. one nice. feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Okay, honey, I'm just going to go to the kitchen and do some blow. <laughs> no, no way. No, he's just he's just definitely going to go back and get more beer. <laughs> <laughs> some Bonnie Tramp. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. Still, I, I, I always gotta give him bullshit. praise for the the character models and stuff, cult. that they, the effort they put into these games. <clears throat> he came in last week. Well, uh, I think a lot he of that was due to, um, I like uh, what's that game? Um, that one's a classic. Legendary. Uh, L.A. Noire, because oh, they yeah. put so him. much development into it in order to get, like, so you can tell when people are lying that... It's actually helped other games get better facial, uh, you know, text going. Yeah, it's a it's a real shame that that studio shut down shortly hey, after. Bigfoot, because the God I mean, I would have loved for a second one. Yeah, that, that was actually a fun so game. On her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is kind of view accident. it like uh, 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 like kind of like the first Assassin's Creed, where it was like a lot of repetitious basic stuff that they greatly expanded on and like Damn, I... uh, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and improved the overall game quality. Like, I'm going to start I kind of viewed L.A. Noir like that first Assassin's Creed game. I like if they have actually did a second one, so much of it would have improved. Oh, absolutely. Let me guess. Of course, that was one series that I never, I, I, I got into way, way too late. Uh, well, not necessarily way too late, but like, um, Dad's been drinking. You know, it was like so adamant that I wouldn't They're play it. And then what was it? I think I finally picked like up Origins on sale and now. replay or played that, and then played through Odyssey, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. Ad. Well, and I had Some played respect. three because of where this it took place with the American Revolution. Yeah. 
And then I went back. I got one on the Xbox uh, and uh, she was finished a it. Then the got life. the Ezio collection, finished it, then replayed three. Uh, I played the the only one I haven't played yet. Um, Just Dennis doing what is he's good. Rogue. I haven't finished and Rogue really Dennis. and um, Surprise. Syndicate and Unity are the only ones I haven't played yet. Valhalla was really good. Um, I want to get the uh, hey Dennis. DLC content here before too long and check that out. Hey! Not now, um, sis. I'm busy. I'd have to say my favorite of the of that series is Origins. That's that's controversial. I've heard, oh, a, lot, I've heard a lot of people hey, uh, that, quit acting crazy. that have had to defend themselves um, on that stance. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's be a little biased <laughs> just because... I love Jesus. ancient Egyptian you culture. Me, sweetheart. So I like you talking playing about through me. all of it, it's like now, this Megan, is really fun. And then like the DLC uh, was pretty good. Uh, like there's one where you can actually go into various afterlives of people, and, and I was like, this is awesome and creative. You know why? Why aren't more people talking about this? But you know, I I guess was it people like uh, Odyssey more or something? Uh, no, I, you know, I actually, I don't think that they, well, okay, Maybe they may have liked the that. main it's game of Odyssey a, a little bit more. I know I liked Odyssey because no, like, of just kind of the same movie. thing for you for more uh, Origins was uh, Greek mythology. They were talking uh, about I really Megan. enjoy Greek mythology, and I, uh, I'm I of the controversial opinion that the DLC actually was pretty entertaining and pretty interesting for it. It didn't move the... The, the present time um, probably better than story alone. well As and of course sister, their their nice. character so that's in the present is not right, not that sure. interesting like uh, or as well developed as uh, Desmond was um, no they, they really haven't been able to do anything good with the present day since uh, you, know, the, uh, you know basically the Ezio trilogy right but no no wait no he was in three as well uh, well three was kind of his that. final one um, yeah yeah but then they kind of have reset it for, uh, if you haven't played Valhalla, a little a little minor spoiler, but they've kind of moved on to a newer character in a sense. Well, new old character. Let's let's just say that. Um, that's why I want to check out the uh, DLC to see if that's moving the present day uh, story any, anymore. One beer and he's out. Oh, oh I wait. This is the click. See, they changed it. On this one too. See before it was a keystroke. Now it's a mouse click. Not sure I like it. Well, you gotta keep you on your toes. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Oh no. Oh yeah. Now you switch it to the right click. Okay. I see what you're doing here, game. See, and that's the the other interesting aspect of playing this on stream is is the difference between playing it from a controller to a mouse and keyboard. You need to keep so why was it like, oh, let's be all tense because he's trying to sneak in and turn off the TV when turn off the TV is going to wake his ass his ass up anyway. Um, it's okay, Dad. Because the point was, Tenor if you failed it, right now. you got you the same outcome. It's the, it's like a this. you know the tutorial section of the, the game, so they're kind of expecting you to potentially guys. fail it. Um, uh, same thing with House of Ashes as well. Like you're in a very tense moment, and you have to do the same thing. Um, wait. Oh, that's that's new. What was it a point and click? Uh, I guess they changed it for this one to point and click. I don't like that. Uh. Oh, I really don't like that. Ooh, this is this is not no no bueno. Why why did you do this? Now I'm sure it'll change hopefully for the later portions of the game. But I I do not like that it's gone point and click. I I I'm trying to figure out like what was their reasoning for this. Adam Warlock, stop looking at the camera. I <laughs> uh, can't walk there? Okay. So I gotta walk this way. Oh yeah. No, I am I am not a fan of this. This makes 
This makes moving worse. Oh, I guess I can move down into the black bar part of the screen to actually get him to walk too. That's a little bit better, but I, I still don't. Son of a bitch. Yeah, clock. I agree. Except uh, son of a bitch controls. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, this is awful. Maybe, this better maybe not be. They're, maybe they're just trying to, since, you know, Telltale, you know, went under, maybe they're trying to fully replace them or something. No, because I can tell you that uh, I, 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 because um, my copy of House of Ashes w for uh, console arrived later than it was supposed to. So I played the, a little bit of the PC version first, and it's it's like Man of Medan, where you use the keys to walk around. Mm. All right. Megan Clark, attendance, one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 blah. Days absent, blah, no one needs that. Ooh, that is wow. not. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. That is not a good report card. There's an E in there. There is an E in there. Hang on. But there's no... <laughs> but there's no E on the chart. Oh, you know what that's prob what that probably is? What? It's like a kid trying to fix their own grade. Oh. You know? As E is one before F. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're, they're trying to... They're trying to, f you know, screw up their report card, make it look like... That... that that's going to be my head cannon. But Anthony, if you're going to go that far, why not like try to make it look Anthony, like a B? I'm getting really pissed off. She got caught. Oh. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. I mean, she is a creepy little girl, so You could be right about my family. She's talking to to people that aren't there I think so, or too. are they? Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. We know her name's Tanya because she wears a uh, name tag says Tanya. <laughs> Go easy on Megan. Hold on. And it's also in the uh, in the uh, subtitles. Yeah, I got to miss out on a whole bunch of things because of that stupid clicking. Dang it. Not Do they nothing. have carpet in the kitchen? What the hell? Megan. No, I don't think that was carpet. I think that was linoleum. There? Yeah, it's linoleum. Is linoleum flammable? Mm. The kitchen's on fire! I mean, this is Are like the 70s, serious? so possibly. Wasn't everything Megan. asbestos in the 70s? I mean, quite, quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, son, I did too much blow on them. I got us. Your um, inhaled smoke and die. <laughs> Everyone's dying. Where the hell is everybody? They're all in the house, dummy. Where else would they be? You're the only one who went outside. Help! Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck is Sir, how's made of straw? This thing is going up I got pretty quick. In the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Malevolent forces? Question mark? What do I do? It's a window. I can't break it. Ha, joke's on you. He broke it. I'm not a warlock, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a review uh, here coming before too long. Uh, once Leslie gets a watch for Eternals. <laughs> Be 
the same outcome either way. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Jump. I mean, it's not that high up. You're just most likely going to br break a leg. Uh, oh, you can hang off the, the, the banister and, and you know, just kind of drop down. Yeah. That's that's one way to go. Reminder, don't wear scarves when you go outside. Or more specifically, don't wear a scarf when you're uh, up on a upper landing on the outside house. Or don't tie them into a knot that doesn't come undone easily. <laughs> Make it clear for the stream. I did. I am not responsible for anyone's death. Right now. Here's my friend that I can shove into the fire just to make, just to bury or rub the salt into the wound. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, what does that have to do with the bus crash? And I'll just say it has something to do with the bus crash. I got. I love this opening song. I, I, I don't know. I just love this opening. I love the curator. I, that's the thing the most. Again, like these games could absolutely suck, but the curator would, would sell it for me every time. They just did a good job with his casting and his whole demeanor and design and everything. Well, I haven't like played any of the games, but you know, from what I've seen of this game and uh, Until Dawn, I'd say I think I like him better than uh, Peter Stormare. Yeah, I think um, so. For like Until Dawn being kind of the the prototype for what they kind of fine tuned for this series, I think he's fine. But like at least here with the curator, like he serves a defined purpose. Like, you know, as, as Pat and I were joking, he's he's Watu, he's the watcher. Like, he just watches the stories and he can't interfere or anything, but, like, he'll try to give you hints and stuff to, uh, you know, try to get everybody out alive and everything. Um, so, like, I think that that's what also um, gives him some more interesting uh, dynamics and again, like just his overall aesthetic, uh, it kind of reminds me of um, the uh, Frogware games, like uh, or whatever whatever the developer is that did the um, Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishments and uh, Devil's Daughter and uh, the newest one, Chapter One. Like just using that kind of 1880s aesthetic with them. And of course, like he's British, so you know there's also that too. <laughs> Hello. Uh, those are the most easily lit candles back. ever. Oh yeah. I have a new story for you. Do it's you? Very different to the last. It absolutely is. It's the best. <laughs> Which one of these do I want to burn? <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. You jerk, this you know there's everything to worry about. This particular story isn't fully <laughs> fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? 
you are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing Arnia? might depend on what you choose to <laughs> no, believe, not Arnia. <laughs> and how confusing <laughs> on the path you choose to take. There's no, there's no uh, wardrobe. There might be a witch, but there's no there wardrobe are an or line. There infinite number of directions in which. Well, there's also. Uh, think one, we then they go through a painting. The information that we like. I think that might be like uh, nonetheless, and uh, hope that we get the clarity Don Treader. and the outcome. And then the Prince Caspian. I think they just As just like life, waiting on the the train uh, a train the station bench. And they, they're all suddenly in Arnia. But that was lazy. You've seen how the story starts. See, that's um, that's that was C.S. Lewis, so Lewis just being like, ah, I don't care. Yeah. They just get there. Well, <laughs> how many more? Well, is he kind of does get a little lazy. There's on the a very obvious, like anti-science metaphor in like the last emotional? book. Do you trust your head? It, it, it's kind of hilarious. There uh, basically, no right there, there's a sometimes one is best. Some sort of ape. I can't remember or, if it's like an orangutan My or whatever. But what it's worth he decides to put on clothes seven. and. Uh, disguise a donkey with um, a lion's uh, skin, and but, he uh, tries to ex explain like Aslan and everything. And I'm just like, not oh, for the love you. of God! <laughs> I'm not supposed to interfere. You see. See, that's the interesting not part of this. Apparently, is like he got chastised for helping us out in the first game to share so it's like I want to know more I want to know more about his backstory like where I feel is he working for someone is he a part of something oh like one final who gave who who kind of gave him crap there are for having in um, hope helped us will, out if bit. found show you a vision of a possible well, future Adam Warlock so obviously he wanted to be in the first game may not <laughs> well then he would have been in the, in the newest one too of course this was this was before Will Poulter got cast for you that have a funeral course, to but, attend uh, if you go I know I'm, I'm just fun. making fun of, oh, fun of him as all mm. I do enjoy a good funeral <laughs> I do enjoy a good funeral <laughs> Okay, Gomez Adams. <laughs> That's right. We're still we're still a little bit in the past here, dealing with the outcome of the house fire. Not much we gotta do, but none of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. Well, the fire happened. But we can take comfort from the fire got out of control and burned down the whole town and everybody died. In God's loving embrace. Ominous. Are the orcs coming? Well, what's going on here? <laughs> Meets back on the menu. <laughs> that was an interesting thing. Uh, I so I got my newest edition of uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, book, book or movie? The book, um, where it has um, a lot of actually his hand drawn illustrations in it. Um, but it has a um, forward before um, before the start of the book, and in fact, like because it's in the um, I don't know if you're familiar with this or know that this happened, but Andy Serkis uh, got commissioned to do audiobooks of all three books. Uh, so I picked Doesn't up the. Doesn't surprise me. Oh, it's he's fantastic. Um, so uh, he was hell, reading Daniel? the, the forward in the audio book as well. So it was actually I was telling my my mom about this that it, it kind of felt Instead of like goofing uh, around, you want to lend a hand here? I was hearing Tolkien like actually. Uh, How is he doing anyway? Speak his Doesn't forward to serious. me with Andy Circus. Could be concussed. Uh, reading okay. it, but his only criticism you, Doctor, of his own books, his only super criticism <laughs> was the they weren't like long enough. I already tried once, oh. but. <clears throat> That kind of um, makes sense, given how much he actually put into the Silmarillion. Well, yeah, and his appendices. I mean, his hey, appendices Andrew, are basically a whole doing? world history. Where are we? Yeah. What happened? 
Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay. Don't worry about the crack on don't the move. head. That, that's no indication <laughs> of a concussion. Now, you may have noticed that they are the same people, in a sense, Fucking as what we just saw in that, uh, in, in well, that flashback okay, or whatever you want to call easy. it. We'll figure out um, what to This is the one thing I also, like, I've mentioned it uh, to Pat, and I've mentioned it in the previous uh, streams. Some of the character models uh, being reused for, like, House of Ashes. Tanya's, or uh, I, whatever her name is now, um, her um, character model is, is used in House of Ashes. Now, it's not the same actress that does her voice, but it's, it's, it's what gives me, like, the kind of, like, the theory that it's, like, um... They're kind of doing a little bit like a American Horror Story type thing where, you know, you have the different actors or, or the same actors playing different roles type of thing to keep it kind of still interconnected in their universe or whatever. Hey, anyone up there? Okay. I hey, mean, I have nothing Daniel, that, that, that gives any John, leniency to that, but it's just you. like Daniel? a thought I have happened to have just because I'm like... Taylor, you well, okay? when I saw their models show up in House We're of Ashes, too, so I'm like, wait a minute, that was you the chick okay from, there? you know, uh, right. Little Hope, and that Nothing was the I dude from Man of Medan. Hey, John. But then when I went to Any IMDb, I was like, well, that's not the same actor. Not so, sure. Looked like hmm, the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. It's it's a probably there, a cost-effective means, you know, nope. that they've got these no um, preset models and stuff that... Can you you know, get it's back easier for them us. then to just get a, a voice steep. actor and then reuse those models for, for these try. other games. Great. But come take up with a, a story or in-universe reason we for why that. those same That's characters are, are, are showing soon. up. Oh, <coughs> I, I, I guess hey, that, that could be true. Help but I mean, like, as uh, we're talking about Assassin's Creed before, I have heard that there is a character model okay. in um you're concussed uh, i'm john Valhalla a college professor that, um, <laughs> we were taking a bus uh, on a field trip but that didn't looks work exactly like cassandra from uh, odyssey uh, it's not uh, we'll cassandra the it's just Get they reuse help. the model think of it as a character building i don't know exercise. if i ever caught it um because i mean I've, I've played valhalla teamwork i've beaten at valhalla finest. but i don't I unless they did it for the it dlcs so but um I that was the main game. I, I, I can't Grant. think of any moment where I or character that, that trail, might have the had others that are on will come out down the road. Of course, we'll it has been there. like a year since I've played it. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No, we could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. We well, should all split up so and find somebody wielding a knife and uh, we wearing a ga uh, <laughs> a uh, hockey mask. Well, I could I could at least tell you um, that there there is right. no slasher. Let's go. In I'm this with you. One. I'm right. The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I don't mind the weird compass thing that appeared right next to my face at all. Oh God, I I don't I don't like this. I don't like that it's point and click. Why can oh, I? It's still like that. Hang oh, on. hang on. Let's see. Oh no 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 no! The, the, don't go back. Oh no! I just saw it too. What was yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Input controls. I can't believe the driver. Just taking off. Like oh, that that's so much us? better. <laughs> God, it's so shocked. much better. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Like it didn't make sense to me why, why I mean, why it was even preset to do that. It, it would have. I, I don't know. I, I, I would have never even thought to have looked in the settings for that. Because like the fact that Man of Medan wasn't set up that way, the fact that House of Ashes wasn't set up that way. Just seemed really weird. Now that's nice. That's new. To allow you to move the mouse around. Welcome to Unreadable Abandoned Hope. Now, come on. <laughs> that's that's readable. That's that's. Come on, it's got a squiggle line through it. That means it, it's completely erased from existence. You know this place, <laughs> Little Hope. 
Come on. No. Come on, man. I mean, I don't These are college so. students, not not uh, not two-year-olds. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating. And again, stuff. like this this stuff uh that the that the subject material with anyway? this like being like the Salem witch trials <laughs> type era uh, stuff like being related or connected to like that. Some. I think that that's what <sighs> Drove me Easy to like eyesight. this one a little bit more too. You got with just a smartphone. Well, you mean the the no, book that the bus driver so was reading? Signal. Well, there's that. Um, so, like, I I, got, I don't know if he had just said it there because we were talking, but like, he he was kind of he may have been explaining that little hope was like in this universe's history, like a a precursor or a part of the Salem witch trials. Good to see you too, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. Uh, the the model that they use for the guy in the red shirt mm -hmm. looks familiar. This gate has changed. It's not who you we think it is. Um, I know who you're, you're thinking it Look looks around. like. Well, See if there's okay, I'm going to, to assume. To it. So I can make an ass out of you and me. Think this will um, do <laughs> That you might think it's Dave Franco. Ready? Because that's who I'll he looks like to me. Side. But it's not Dave Three, Franco. Two, one. I'm not oh. sure who Dave Franco is, actually. Uh, James Franco's uh, younger brother. <laughs> yeah, that's brother. what I'm talking if about. If you've seen uh, Now oh. You See Me, he's in that. Uh, no. I, that's the Magician series or movies, right? Yes. Uh, he was also in 21 Jump Play Street uh, with uh, Chain Tatum and uh, Jonah Hill. You know where town um, is? You might sure. know him if We're you like looked home. him up on IMDb real Sounds quick, like but like that's place. that's to me who he Funnily looks enough, like the most. Does have an um, but like when I looked up history. the actor when this came out, can we get going without um, having a smartass lecture first? I'm it, trying it's, not to it's like no you one I know your attitude. Of. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? I'll just <clears throat> I'll just look up the this actor in, in the game instead of nothing. Dave yeah. Franco. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick oh, up for you? Catty Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. <laughs> not my kidding. boyfriend. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along Daniel, with it before, but I'm not so sure now. Uh, and, uh, so Daniel. what do you want to do? How about... You come with me back to the bus. I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some- Kyle help. Bailey. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into I don't think they used to- uh, His real the face is the model. Uh, it doesn't fine. look like him at all. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to remember. be out here walking around uh, alone. Uh, come like with I said, us. it's, it's Don't worry been about a year me. since I've played this. I'll play down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. I remember looking it up originally, so... Come with us. I think it, think it looks like him, but... I'm not going anywhere. Okay, now, what always happens when you go walking off in the fog? What? You make out with a random chick? You. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> you come back so in you the same direction you left it. Alone, then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Holy Long shit, they're in Pac-Man. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait, what are you doing? She's Taylor. going. You just told her. Well, no, you Look didn't out. just tell her. What What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know. I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be hey, able at least to they're go not back splitting up. Way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. And they come right back out where they left. Oh, they have a lot of substations in this that town. That is a little odd. <laughs> a lot of substations that look like just the one you just left. It's not possible. Well, they're consistent. It's they hired like the I've same architect for all of them. Trapped. 
We can't leave here. So they hired the architect okay. from New World. Gotcha. Calm down. Breathe. <laughs> There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. But Last would you I know checked, that? you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that. So is that me. reverb part of the game, or is there something going on? Watch with my your audio? tone, will you? It's part of the game. I am doing sure. my best to understand this, okay. just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Football coach. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Does anybody have any blue? Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. Are, are, are you we trying to, to tell me something? Do you, do you have a blow Thank addiction? Do, do we need to have an intervention? Now let's be logical. Oh, no, no, I can quit whenever I want. Between <clears> us <throat> and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't well, I mean, get you can keep walking in the fog, you're the just still going to end up where you were. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get. They've only been going the one way. Why they try the other directions? People, a working phone, something. Well, that's what he's trying to it tell her. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. I mean, you can go into the woods. Are you leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable shows called foreshadowing going lady. for a while after you. Well, and I mean, we've all you know, we've all died. seen uh, Forget Sixth about Sense. It. What they said didn't really stack up. No, cat, you're supposed to cross before like they come reason. through. <laughs> Jeez, you can't even cat right. Unfortunately, my cat's behaving herself, or himself right now, and my dog is behaving herself. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Um, my cat's sulking underneath the, uh, the blankets for some reason. I'll go in and take a look around. I don't even know where mine is right now, Go ahead. Now, actually. We'll oh, be right behind you. He's sitting in my chair. My recliner chair. Why aren't we going with He claims things? every time I get up, I know he goes is right up there, you. You said even though I'm coming right back. Like, what a <laughs> joke idea that is. Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass Lady, label? he's got a You're popped collar. Of course he's real. For me. <laughs> so what the fuck am I, then? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we, then? I don't know what we are yet. That got him I'm to not ready up. to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Be because it would be like the end Anything of the world if someone found out the they right were guy. dating. I need to know 100% I Of course, she's mind. obviously a rebel and he's some sort of now. preppy. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside? Yes, go into the dilapidated looking bar out of Silent Hill 2. Yeah, the windows are boarded up. There's got to be lots of people here. Oh, hey, there's at least one window that's not boarded. Somebody hear a chink in the asphalt behind us? No? Okay. <laughs> well, there is one person. I mean, that's not suspicious or creepy at all. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? 
What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So That's thick it's stopping us said. from leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're uh, trapped here Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look But not up. stirred. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. No, but he kind it's of right there if you one. change your mind. I didn't blow on you. for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What is it, Big Hope now? What oh, it's abandoned here? hope. The ah, place seems right. completely deserted. Yeah, because Little it was unreadable like except for abandoned. Ghost town. <laughs> and that fog? Life Come on, they had a town. squiggle line through the, the word little. Either. How could you read that? I mean, because I have eyes. <laughs> there a phone in here? We can use a way of contact. Some sort of devil. The <laughs> There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. <laughs> They're playing darts in the yep. background. Yep. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off. Just in a it. sinister town, you know, talking to somebody who's being very cryptic. Let's play darts. One too many. I mean, that's around. what I would do. There must be something here that can help us. While they See figure out what up. they are, and if she's ready to go public with it yet. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. Yeah, all right, let's see how about I, I screw good this back up. in the day. Stay, play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Son, at least I, I'm looking for a way out. What are you? Just doing? a quick yeah. throw, and then we'll figure out how. My, my we thoughts exactly. I think she is talking Try for about a big double. Not my him. first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Like the guy that's shooting, or the guy that she was shooting with? Uh, the guy she was shooting with. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. So why did she call now him a thing then? Twenty. Cause she's a crotchety old woman. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. Still easier play than playing darts in yakuza. <laughs> I need to play that series. I heard it's pretty good. That's fantastic. One hell of a shot. <laughs> I have spent the past. You did better I have than spent Taylor. The past. Let's get back to why we came in here. Four months, I think, playing through all of them, starting with zero, moving all the way up through Like a Dragon, and also uh, replaying Judgment and then playing uh, Lost Judgment. How many are out? So in the main Yakuza uh, series seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then they did a spinoff uh, between six and seven with uh, with uh, Judgment. Fuck. Uh, and then Lost Judgment is the sequel to Judgment. Judgment is lo Judgment. And Lost Judgment is like an action-packed LA noir in a sense. Okay. Um, you're playing a, a PI uh, who used to be a lawyer, and then the first one deals with. Um, a serial killer, and the second one deals with someone who uh, publicly gets like com committed for like an, uh, a sexual assault crime, but then uh, there's he Ugh. reveals that somebody was found or a body was found in a remote Got area, else uh, and he knows the hope. exact details where the uh, where it was, but like head. he has the perfect alibi, so it can't be him. But how would he know these things and stuff? Um, okay. But it, they're they're very I'm good, sure and it and it gets many. kind of Twenty One Jump Street we with the fact that you days. get involved with uh, a local uh, high school and uh, some solving advice. some mysteries and dealing Lay with some stuff with uh, with the high school and stuff. Well, yeah. But sure I spent <laughs> gotta keep a clear fifty head, plus right? hours in Lost Judgment, and I only completed twenty four percent of the game. Oh, Jesus, yeah, there's a lot to do. Uh, and then Yaku, like, like a dragon is fun, but.
but takes some getting used to because it takes a very strange departure from um, how the rest of the series does combat. Because, um, oh, why am, why am I forgetting the main character's name? Um, Ichiban is, is a fan of Dragon Quest, and so like he views everything like an like a JRPG. So it actually has a traditional JRPG mechanics to it versus. Um, the other ones are just straight, like, street brawlers. Astrology. This place has some great history. Uh, are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Hear that, left-handed people? Little Hope Town Hall, <laughs> Tuesday, 6-16-1970. I'm sure my mom will love that I, I said that because she's left-handed, as well as my brother. Well, that actually kind of was a viewpoint for... Oh, I know. Uh, basically, le lefties or southpaws were, uh, you know, the devil. <laughs> or spawns of the devil or whatever. It's like... Uh, why? <laughs> Meeting votes for disincorporation. New here. round of foreclosure spells end for town. Down. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles Factory. A mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad. These people have seen their t town disappear around them. Attempts to, and that's where it cuts off. So far, no typos, so it, it's it's doing better than Man of Medan did. Uh, did they have, like, 40-year-old newspapers and flyers in here, though? Mm-hmm. Well, look at look at the picture. Notice anything uh, interesting about the picture? Uh, can you zoom in again? Uh, I don't think it'll let me zoom in again. Uh, but look at the um, let's see. So you see the one to the far left, then the one that's on the right, then the two in the middle. If you can really kind of look more at the person at the right, and the with the two that are in the middle. I don't think you can see it with this. I can't zoom in anymore. Um, yeah, I can't really see it. It, it, resem again. it resembles him and uh, Will Poulter's character. And uh, I think also Daniel was in there as well. Uh, I think now it's time to leave. Oh, I'm so glad we found those controls. I would have hated pointing and clicking through all of them. Hey, this way. Let's get out I of found here. Found the and... door. Well, now that's on. You all hear that? Yes, it is I a bell ringing. Something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. I really think well, it's obviously smart to go it didn't back come from inside. Nothing for us here. We need to move on. <laughs> Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. I'm just a wise old black man going to the bathroom. No, he's going to go play darts by himself. And See, of course, I could have said he was going to blow, but I didn't say that. <laughs> of course, the name of the bar happens to be the Black Cat Bar. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. He's saying the same I thing about you, lady. Central <laughs> right? just to get a top up. What does that mean? What if I don't want to keep up with John and the others? I want to do some investigating. Yeah, that's that's where I screwed up. 
when I played this the first time. Yeah. Yep. Come on, put it down. There we go. Not sure why a postcard of a cauldron evoked that. Well, you know how like um, you had the totems in um, Until, Until Dawn. Dawn, and then there's the pictures in um, Manamadan, and they are uh, stone tablets in House of Ashes. Bird eye view the right way. of our historical town. And there's just one road. We are here. Yeah, but how much you want to bet we can't just follow that main road? Of course, you got to get lost when there's nowhere else to go. Right. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. So let's go catch up with those other people. Come on. Oh, uh, I guess we can go try to look at the window. There was some something shiny there. Come on. Come on. There. Still just sitting there. By his lonesome. You know, no one questions, like, how he's paying for that beer. Or who served him his his liquor. I mean, free, free bar, you know. <laughs> well, Nobody's going to complain about a free bar. He could, he could be the or owner. Open. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, Look, you're shit. not in Star Wars. You're in Marvel. <laughs> Fog just appears. It's not natural. You're not natural, man. Will someone watch Blair Witch Project? Mm. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of. Hey, you weren't there a second ago. A warning, perhaps. Oh, she was. She was following. Or some oh, I thought it was the redhead chick. No, Whatever no. It, is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've yes, been more than so, enough. So you Thank totally you. touch it. I'm sorry. I, I didn't scare you, did I? Ooga booga. I don't know which is scarier? Whatever this is. Or your morbid interest in it. I'm not superstitious, but I'm, I'm a little superstitious. superstitious. But stuff like mm -hmm. what happened to us with the fog. Let's. Uh, catch uh, you up can be the superstitious. Can you be substitious? Disgusting thing. Uh, as Michael Scott said, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. <laughs> and it's a good thing you're you on this stream versus Pat, because he would kill me for making an office reference. Yeah, does, was... does he not like The Office? Oh, he thinks it's the worst show ever. And I've tried to educate him several times, but... Well, there's no accounting for taste for him. I honestly just have no opinion about the show. <laughs> I can accept no opinion about the show. But I will not have it be smirched <laughs> like he does. Boy, these jump scares aren't very good at all. Hey, can you come well, over here? Well, as with most horror films and people who What's are wrong? experienced with them, they're I just saw obvious someone in the woods. And, you know, you plan I for them or anyone. you expect them to happen. I definitely saw I someone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. How about the dude we in the really bar, you together. crazy bitch? <laughs> you two. Right? We need to stick close. Hey, hottie. She'll give the uh, the nurses from uh, Silent Hill a run for their money. Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Hear the man. Go, on, go and look. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Yeah, because they just wanted to play John, a prank where are on you, you this after isn't having funny. a car accident. <gasps> Priorities, man. Priorities. Right? Look 
I could have pulled out my phone uh, flashlight before, but not until something stupid happened. Gotta save those batteries. Hey, wait for us! What is that? Nursery rhyme, you idiot. Hey. Come and check this out. That would be a dog. It's rocks. What on earth is that? Not a clue. It's a doll with a nail. Or a pen, rather. One that looks like it could actually do some damage to you. That's wicked looking. Start getting to the interesting bits. What, what is your name, sir? I'm I am definitely Andrew. concussed. <laughs> and Drew? And your name, lady? But she is are not. You? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I so why'd she say Andrew so weird? Um, she looks just like the one beside I mean, you. Andrew would have been it, a common name. Yes. She kindly come play with me. It must be like the first time she's heard that come name. Play. That's the only thing I can think come of. Play with what me. witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Oh, I'm a Sith Lord. I see. Truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Don't make me bust out my red light lightsaber. <laughs> There's someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. Is there smoke? Because where there's smoke, there's fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What are you what is smoking, going on? lady? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? mind that shot of the arm. I just have to play. No. <laughs> I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? I mean, Thought you know not. you can't go back the way you came from, so you know, what else are you going to do? And go back to the bar and drink the night away. But but he locked the door. Yeah, break the window. <laughs> Yeah, you'd probably actually be marking the property value up for it. <laughs> and hell, if you didn't want to break a fresh window, you could always pry off like one of the ones that are already boarded up. Very true. Well, that escalated rather quickly. All right, Will Ferrell. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Sure, Yoda. Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate There is no wine in that class. That's, that's what I was just about to say. Dream. It may be so I just like to pretend I'm drinking death. so I look more sophisticated. I'm a teetotaler, you see. On my travels over many years, yeah, it really is. not Is it water? Uh, there is a line there. Heard many beliefs. Oh, there's and like there's nothing in there. Some element of truth. There's a smidge. I don't know what it is though. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. No, I think that's just a weird reflection of the light. Could be. Anyway, where are we? 
Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority. Am I the jump cut where I completely changed my face? Perhaps. He well, something else. again, like it's that telltale thing Dennis where Andrew. it's like it's somewhat confused, it's Im I calculating think. the inputs and choices you made, and then having to figure out which response it's going to have him, you, help you know, make play. Some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That I'm fellow doing in good. Bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. What if I don't want to find the bus driver? How, How can, can they lift the fog? <laughs> he's not Storm, he's Adam, uh, Adam Warlock. Uh, I mean, just, you know, like in the old cartoons, just take a knife and slice a big giant hole oh, girl, and she sounded there you so go. Strange. I could barely and understand. Dip it in coffee and eat like she a donut. Sure sounded exactly. like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. Oh, we're time travelers You're right. now. That weird autocorrect. That was weird. Oh, need a new car? Looks like it still runs. And we got another postcard, so let's see what fate we find next. Hmm. So you're going to execute somebody. Cool. Well, knowing how this plays out and everything, I never got to that moment. So that's interesting. Somebody's making Just a noises. bear, don't worry. You sure that's a bear? It doesn't sound like a bear. It's either a bear or Zool. Yeah. That was a deer. We were both wrong. Might get a better view from up there. Yes, let's go off the beaten path. Let's get off the road that's supposed to take us in and out of town. Ghost towns of the northeast. Little Hope, the town returning to nature, the abiding image of a ghost town, and the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a, a one-factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Hidden Depths. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing Architects of Unreadable, unreadable 10.30 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, but will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, that right, was so random. So, so when this town was in its boom, it was still called Little Hope. Yes, it's always been Little Hope. Little Hope since it was founded. 
How are you coping? Because they had little. I don't know. Hope. What do you think happened to us back there? Whoa. I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. Well, if it made sense to you, I'd be concerned for your sanity. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Well, I mean, I couldn't do anything else. No, oh, there's, there's nothing that's gonna come out of that water. Of course not. Hey, it's Gollum. Maybe he's friendly. Better just not have a ring on you. <laughs> it's nice of them to have just stood there and waited while we had our little side quest. Yeah. So I'm calling out like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's not trying like to get we've... out of this town, and you're just looking at the fucking fog. Come on. Yeah, it's not like we've just been in a in an accident, and we're all freaking out and want to get out. The Witch of Edmonton. A play by W. M. Rowley, Thos, Decker, and John F Ford. What is Thos? Uh, it might be an abbreviation for Thomas, maybe. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what comes to mind, but it's really weird. Um, performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th April 7th. You know that's like, that. that's not how Americans do their dates, right? Like, we do usually the, like, 17th um, Saturday... Or something uh, like that. Could this have something to do with what we saw? April 17th. Yeah. <clears throat> that would explain it. It's actually hard for me to remember that sometimes because I deal, or my work has me do the European way where it's, you know, the date before the month and I end up doing that on a lot of so yeah, like today would so something. today would be like 2011 2021 yeah it's so weird but it kind of helped me keep it straight I actually do actually write out the month instead of do the month number this is why this is why we we fought a war so we could <laughs> do it right am you and your metric system it wasn't because of high taxes. It was, it was all because of the metric system and how they wrote their dates. And how else were they going to write their checks back in 1776? I mean, did they even write checks back in 1776? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, the closest you might get are promissory notes, I think. But I, I'm not. I'm not actually certain. I can't. I can't tell you. There's something up ahead. Well, there was like really outside of what uh, the pound. There really was no other, like, currency, so... Not sure. It's like, today I just used Which my way? credit card, so... Can yeah. we move it? But, I am, not a, I am not a cryptocurrency guy, so... That's been Look the most... Look like... Go ahead. Venezuela, like, Wait. make the cryptocurrency, Stop. like, their official, like... Uh, monetary unit now? Well, I mean, to be fair, it's Venezuela. It. This is exactly anything what goes is, down in horror is movies. better than their, their normal monetary system. I mean, they already didn't have money, so why not now? make something up that's not worth anything either and not backed by anything? That's the That's been the most annoying thing recently with the past two trips to the movie this. theater. When we Sorry, saw Eternals and when we saw Ghostbusters, um, you, you would think that this would happen at the beginning before trailers because, you know, that's where all your commercials are before trailers. Um, Hold up. I'll come with you. But uh, they play the, like three trailers and then they play this cryptocurrency tr tr commercial with Matt Damon. God. In, in, in the middle. And then they play like three, hey, three or four more trailers. Too. And it's like, <gasps> what? Why? Like, Okay, I, I could understand you putting it 
at the front with all the other commercials. But but why why are you putting it in the middle of trailers? I want to say something similar happened when I watched Dune. I can't remember. I was just hey! you know, too there? uh I was too excited to be actually watching <laughs> Dune to actually care. Anyone? Well, hey, they're handsome. Run! Let's check. Why is it you want from me? No, I'm not from you? you. You grabbed us. What are you doing here? Yeah. These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. Well, there's, there's an M Night Shyamalan uh, twist. What the hell are you? <laughs> No, oh, those come at the end. That's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. How about a witch's spell? You. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. I mean, did did he say he was your husband? I'm pretty sure he didn't. I I, I know what the reference is too, Let's but get into town. yeah, there. Uh, no, it's not she, so far now. Did, he did not insinuate help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all. I mean, how do you not recognize, like, a British accent? How is that even possible? You're blowing this out Like, of you don't have to know Angela. where from Britain they're here. from, but it's a British See, accent, or even a colonial accent. Except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. Hell, you could even try, try to argue that it's like a, a New England accent. Yeah. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. No That's way. That's because self-referential -ref horror things are yeah, uh, work so well since Scream. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Butt out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Why, why do these Think bitches want to fight each other? Is? We can check out more options if we split up. They've been mean to each Taylor. other since, like, Jump Street. It's not like, safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a well, way. Well, maybe they both want to bang the same is dude. That's what we all want, right? That's, I guess that's you're gross. right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, that's so. That's send them into town. That's, that's someone's grandma. Us. Oh, grandmas get sex too. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Why are you walking like you have a mind of your own? That's weird. That's how Actually, Skynet I thought you were starts. doing that. Well, I was doing it a little bit, but like, it, it, it's this weird, like, autocorrect it wants to do. Like, I want to maybe go in Hold a certain up. direction, and then it, like, you hear takes that? me back to a straight line. Oh, 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 got it. Got it. I remember my WASD keys. Thanks. Dude, fix your bike. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> Are we okay here? And that's worse than We're like good. when you get a shopping and cart and one of the, the wheels does the like. bike. Oh, that that, that happened. That happened like this morning. Uh, like it, one of the one of here, the uh, must be an wheels on the shopping cart just like road. locked Let's straight. Like it just wasn't even gonna move. And I'm like, God dang it! Now I gotta lift this thing you up and an explanation for what we move saw? it. It caught on something on Nothing the ground. I hate sense. when that happens. 
I do we know also had to deal with some ridiculous time, jerk this like. morning. Like, so I, I go grocery shopping at 6 in the morning every Saturday morning because I don't like people. What the hell was um, that? And this, this reinforced why I don't like people. Um, <laughs> so, What's up? you know, normally the same same girl works the uh, the, the self checkout every every Saturday. Um, you and so worried. she was she was up there. Are and you okay? This guy yeah, who's in one of those like I am more or less, but um, motorized just, carts uh, is with his wife or girlfriend or whatever, and like um, we all have our own way of coping. She she offer well since John it's so early in the morning the they don't have any of the normal checkout lanes male. open. And, um, and Taylor feel an she was like, well, you know, hey, I'll, I'll animalistic uh, she had the she had the gun and everything. And she was like, I'll scan your um, are you saying I'll uh, I'll scan your stuff. You don't even have saying? to take it out of the cart. Grow up a little, and, Andrew. If you and he was like, no, Taylor, I'm going to talk to a manager. No I want a manager. And she's like, uh, sir, I, I'm I'm I've, I mean, I can just we do it. Like, you don't even have to take it out of your cart. We do. And he's like, no, I'm going to talk to a manager. I'm not sure we're really getting and it. Why, why, why do you want to talk to a manager? Because they wanted to go through the regular checkout aisles for some reason. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now I'm turned around here. I don't know if i got to go the other way or what. Uh, oh, another another effigy. Um, and so, like, I guess they finally talked to a manager. And... Oh. I can drag in your foot there, dude. Um, and they got told that they had to go through the self checkout. So like, she, his wife or whatever is like scanning the stuff, and then you, you know okay? the the self checkout like girl Angela comes over and she's like, you know, hey, I, I, you know, I, I was just telling you I could scan it for you. You didn't for have to even here. take anything out. And they're like, no, it's all right, all it's whatever. In my then care. they go back to scanning their stuff, and she goes back up How to would the you front. Handle all this in and then uh you know something was supposed to be cheaper than I'm what it was when it came positive. up on the register and everything do my best and that's all he's like could do. oh that's supposed to be a dollar 99 or whatever not what whatever and she's like and, and his wife's like oh tonight. i'll take care of it i'll take care of it whatever and then finally he saw he got there. her the checkout girl's attention again and was like uh some guy told us that this is supposed really to be blah 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 um, and sure starting to look that and way. And it's ringing up this, and she's just like, just Creepy little scan girl the rest fog. of your stuff. I'll take care of it. Then whatever the hell that <laughs> and was. I, I was done. Like I was done scanning my stuff. And just I was because just like, I can't explain luck. what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach like, the most extreme conclusion. This girl, this girl's nothing but nice. That's kind of every what Saturday in morning. Hope during the witch trial. Yeah, she's probably got to be there at they like made five bad decisions based and on. And yeah. Very little hard There's evidence. Nothing she was doing wrong. She wasn't being mean or sure. anything like that. I've never seen her be mean to any that. customer. Either and this way, guy just immediately was like, no, I'm just going to talk to a manager. I just want to talk to a manager. I'm like, ghosts, whatever else. It's, it served no purpose. Like, you're sh you're shopping there that early in the morning. They're not going to have their, their normal checkout lanes open. Yeah. As and, it, it's not like Saturday. peak hours. They don't need a whole lot of about. people... Nothing. And quite frankly, I prefer to go through the self checkout. It saves me from having to talk to people. <laughs> there are some people who just want to be antagonistic. Cause oh, that—that's absolutely what this was. I mean, I—I I still just can't get over the fact like he was just like, I'm, "I want to talk to him. I want to talk to the manager." Wait. Man, man, John is a freaking chicken here, and I, and I don't mean you. Wait now. Okay, so now they changed it to. That's what happened. They. That's why it was a mouse click before. Because of that, of the other settings. Because now it's back to a keyboard click. So that threw me off for a second. Chairs. Yeah, it's Kitty. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. You saw what a cat. What exactly are you up to? It even meowed. Taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? It could have been a bird. I won't tell if you don't. Breaking and entering into an abandoned meowed. house where the door is open. There's no one here. I don't think there's even a door. Yeah, there may not even. Yeah, there's not even. Yeah, that doesn't look like there's a door either. 
Modern Magic and Ritual. Ronald Nelson. Looks in pretty good condition for an open door. Modern Magic and Ritual is the definitive guide to the subject of magic for the new age, as opposed to magic for stage magicians. Well, the... Written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art, this book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, with with an open an open door. Let's. Oh uh, no, I don't want to leave because if I might trigger the next cutscene and I, I'll be screwed. I know there's something else in here. Yeah, that's where they keep Samara. Mm, not exact. Oh, so you're going to make me do a keystroke now. That was I mean, the girl's name from... Uh, the Ring. The Ring, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, if Samara's a, like, 357 Magnum, or whatever this is, revolver. I didn't see that the box was there before I <laughs> thought my joke out. <laughs> You all done with poking around? Are you done being a cunt? Part of my language? I found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. This stream is marked not for kids, so let's... You should have left it there. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but... We're already in enough trouble. You know, I have people at work who... Oh. Have uh, her throw it away. No, I'm I'm keeping it. it. This is one crazy night we're having. Um, who knows? We could need this. I've, I've had people at work who think I'm so mild mannered, and I'll be careful. Some I of promise. them have heard me say some Men few choice and words, guns. and they're like, "Make sure the damn thing stays I didn't in even your know pants. you knew that word. I don't I'm like, see it again. "Yeah, you you see the work version of me. You don't see the <laughs> off hours version of me, especially when I'm playing video games." I mean, yeah, who kisses like a sailor when they're at work? I mean, I, except for I, except for I, cooks, I, may, <laughs> maybe when when no one's around. <laughs> what kind of place is this? But yeah, I, uh, I I was I was telling somebody something. I was like, or one of my coworkers something. I'm like, oh, I have a special special word for that person. I reserve for people specifically like that. And they're like, oh, what is it the B word? I was like, no, it starts with a C. And they're like. You know that word? I'm like, Professor? Yes. <laughs> I reserve it for only very horrible people, but yes, I do know that word. <laughs> What's funny is, like, in America, that word has, like, such a stigma where it's like, no, you don't say that. Andrew here but then there's, like, packed. other countries where, like, they'll Ireland. just. A gun? Yeah, like they'll just say crazy? that to their friends. Be like, how are you doing? <laughs> and, you know, say that word. And it's we just don't know like, what's out there in the fog. Better to. I was have like, gun and not need it's it, totally different, you know, cultural uh, cultures for that. The likelihood of your getting we're shot called, goes up we're dramatically. We're coddled in this country. You, you can't say anything without Whatever. offending somebody. If the gun makes you feel safe, do the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. It's what, it's what we try to, we try to leave the, um, I mean, I'll tell you what, if, if we... If we did a political show, uh, Pat and I have talked about maybe maybe doing that or or this something where we cover something shot. where politics might be involved. There must it's be a like radio or a working phone. Most inside. most people that maybe might listen to this podcast too. or something, if Look they listen to that show, the they'd be like, with. "Yeah, I'm done listening to these <laughs> these guys," because <laughs> we're we're very staunch in our our beliefs. Uh, I thought I could go through the window. I guess not. So we're at the school. Oh, there's something over here. I mean, for for the most part, we're all just like, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Like, that's that's pretty much all we're about, for the most part. It's like, you don't, don't impose your crap on me, I won't impose my crap on you. Okay, so these visions from like the the, the postcards. postcards, like, are, are, are like the in characters actually experiencing them, or is this purely just for the player? Yeah, I think it's more for the player because like the, the characters never reference what they saw. 
Because that's what I was thinking. It's like they have like no reaction to these things. Um, I mean, I think it went the same for it with the totems I'll for Until Dawn. No problem. Well. I can do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're sure. And it's Anyone definitely it's with like Man of Medan. a rock through a with, window at uh, ten paces. Because I mean, like anyone can make how shot. how if would they comment? Pressure, you know, else like do it. whoa, that was weird pressure. or something like that. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on? I mean, like just like the frame will have you know, a surprise or confused face. You know, would be like you two have finished. okay. You know, that was a reaction. You know, instead of like <laughs> no right. acknowledgement we'll that you just saw this weird vision at all. You think well, a rookie can make a again, shot like, like that? I think uh, I think part of it is it's um, kind of an in-universe type thing because like we're we are. Oh the person uh, reading his the curator story right and then it's our choices that impact the characters involved in the stories piece so of cake. it's us as the as You're the reader next. getting the information rather than the characters um kind of like the choose your own adventure stories like the characters in the choose your own adventure stories aren't aware of the choices you're making based off of you know do you go to this page for this potential thing or do you go to that page for this potential thing yeah, I guess that's true. And, like, I, I'm really, really intrigued because, like, they are treating this like a, a show in the sense of um, the fourth game is going to be a season one finale. And I have to wonder if anything that runs from Man of Medan through Little Hope through House of Ashes and then uh, the devil in me, like, if that's going to culminate into something grander because like there's moments we've caught it uh haven't yet caught it here in little hope but caught it in uh, man of medan and i caught it in my playthrough of house of ashes where uh i'm sure briefly you would see the curator in frame with the characters and the school down what does that mean and then like Forget he had that. said it at the Even beginning you make it over there's uh, no way that, I'm like following. you know he Basically, got reprimanded for giving advice in Man of Medan. <sighs> Looks like there's no way through. Um, I might have made a bad So, call like, here. who is who? Who does he work for? Or Don't stress it. like, no one made it. You know, this who's way. overseeing we'll find what another he's way. doing? It's the the G Man from the uh, Half Life series. Yeah, you're gonna hate me when I say I've never played Half Life. Well, neither have I. I just know things about it. And now I have played Hello, Bioshock. No, everybody's like, oh, half life is the best game ever. And, you know, they've been waiting for Half-Life 3 for, is it like two decades now? Basically. And I'm just like, I'm sure it's a great game. I just haven't played it. Little Hope Little Hope Bridge. Doesn't seem like a good name for a bridge. I mean, it doesn't seem like a good name for a town either, but... No. And there's a small town in Michigan called Hell, so, oh, you know. That, what, what else? So there's, um... Oh, God, what is it? Intercourse, uh, Pennsylvania or something like that? Ah! Pretty, pretty sure, pretty sure that's, that's a thing. Oh, if there were a uh, intercourse uh, Pennsylvania, then there's some crazy person in Pennsylvania who needs to go there, and only <laughs> like a select few people will understand what that means. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to to not give the guy any uh, any actual potential airtime on this channel, I'll, I'll tell you after we end the stream. <laughs> All right. Just say that. That man is uh, is off his rocker. If he even had a rocker. <laughs> so we got Megan, who also is the little pilgrim girl, or whatever, colonist girl. And we've seen Angela hey. as the uh, are you okay? The old older uh, one. Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real. My cat's awake now. She's trying to find me. 
<laughs> just the same little kid, Angela and Andrew. I'm just glad before. mine's not messing with I stuff. No I had to get a spray bottle because I finally Whoa, got tired doing of, that. of him. Const- I couldn't have anything on my coffee table. Otherwise, uh. he would. Uh, <laughs> oh, what the he would just God. knock it off. Like, no reason. He just knew I didn't want him to do it. And then he'd just go and knock that it didn't off. That didn't just happen. Quiet now. My cat will do that occasionally when she feels like I'm not giving her attention. She'll be like, oh, this thing that you have on here? I'm knocking it off now. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! Oof. What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. I'm going to hit she you with my ring hand. The devil. <laughs> I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. She wasn't talking to you. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with Did her you. necklace just like flutter or something? I, I didn't I didn't notice it. it it's uh, just no, it's probably it was probably a, a physics thing. I just noticed like some weird movement like in her chest area, and I was like, wait, there's a necklace there. Um, Did I just <laughs> because it was I like just freak I, out for a second? I was I was playing Skyrim a little bit earlier, and uh, of course because I can never complete Skyrim. But I can always like it's probably my nine hundredth time replaying the beginning, and I was sitting at the table in uh, was it River Run, and uh, listening to the conversation and the the plate that's in front of me, the melon is just moving back and forth without me doing anything to it. Those are usually the funniest glitches. Ooh, that hurt. Crack on the I'm noggin. glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Are you? I mean, because I could screw this up and none of you could get out of here. I'm not going to try to. Pat would definitely try to get... Oh, because he even mentioned it in the in the last stream when we beat Man of Medan. Like, he got everybody killed on his plate. <laughs> and intentionally. Probably a trophy for that. That's, that's what I said, too. I was like, well, there's probably an achievement for it. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. I did in Let's House of Ashes. I, I got two people killed. Let in me that help one. you. And um, I, I didn't really f uh, f see a way around what I could have done differently on that playthrough. But I will do things differently on my next playthrough, which will probably be the next in these Let's Play series. Then once I finish House of Ashes, who knows what we're doing next. Now, well, by the time actually, by the time we get done, it might be time for Endwalker town. since they delayed Endwalker. There's no road. We need to get you on Final Fantasy XIV. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's oh, barely even a. Path. I have a uh, download. I just I don't know. I can never get myself to actually start playing it. <laughs> I, I like, can tell you, depending on where your starting place city must have been is, because um, store or something. I had gotten it on uh, on. Uh, console a long time ago and i and i didn't i didn't quite like it then because uh, i got to the opening city or the first city which was that uh old well. and i did not like the layout and i found it very confusing um to navigate but then when i started yeah. replaying this year or started back up this year and got an account and everything and and subbed and everything i uh i pushed through it and i was like oh it's actually not that bad i just wasn't being patient enough with it 
<laughs> but I know you being a big Final Fantasy uh, uh, fan, uh, you would you would definitely enjoy it. And uh, I'm actually even considering, except I think it's a little bit more um, strenuous on trying to get it all set up. I am considering purchasing Eleven, and uh, and playing it. Are the are the servers even still active for Eleven? They yeah, absolutely like are. A, I'm going for the stairwell. They still have about. It's probably about fifty thousand players, <laughs> and you can actually. Um, now they shut down the servers for consoles, um, but they still have the PC servers up, and uh, you can Seriously? actually do all of the content there? solo now. Um, oh, okay. Let me go in. They did around. what uh, what Guild it's Wars all clear. has done. I'll come and open and the door. Although, I'm not sure. Hopefully, like it's a little bit better. Like, I like Guild own. Wars, but Be right back. navigating Promise. and figuring out quests and, like, figuring out how the... Because um, I still haven't figured out. I'm, like, level 10. I still haven't figured out how to get, like, new equipment or to upgrade my equipment. I need your phone. What for? Um, inventory is Dark really either. annoying. But, Please be quick. Um, Throw it to and me. And the quests are... Uh, are okay um, right now. And I don't, I can't tell you much about the story, but um, I'm trying to play it for the most part before I really get into two. Um, I'm in. Is it but safe? you can do the same thing where it, so. it's basically uh, got bot characters for a party that you can add to your party and uh, do the do the world stuff. Notice of closure effective June 28. 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, J. Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. Stock to remove, snacks, crossed out magazines, alcohol, firearm, firearms in a market? Oh, yeah. It's very interesting. Well, again, yeah, I guess that's... a small town. They have to get them somewhere. Well, in 1975 as well, too. Um, yeah, so a bunch of stuff there. All right. and we Why are, are some of them not crossed out? Um, well, let's see. It's, I assume, stocks, stock have... to remove. So they've removed, they've already got the snacks, they got the alcohol, firearms, tobacco, all that stuff. Everything that's crossed out is the stuff they got out already. That's that's my read of it, um, but we got about we got about thirteen minutes left. I I don't think we'll get to another curator scene. That would be the most ideal place to stop. But we'll we'll see where we get here before too long. Uh, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go down there yet. Hmm. I'll check out these rooms. Examine. Got another postcard. Well, at least there was a knife in that picture, so it kind of connected a bit. <laughs> Local minister arrested June 14, 1973. A minister in the Diocese of Pleasant River has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged, alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at the Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesman from St. David's commented, I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic, and he would often warn uh, parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Another parishioner who did not wish to be named claimed that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker, and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mo mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. Yeah, but they more often than not turn out to be true. In real life. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure I didn't miss anything else. Is there another room? Yes. 
Okay, now can't do that. All right. Well, well, before uh, you know, we we're talking about uh, I had played um, Man of Medan and intentionally got everybody killed. Anyone? Oh there? yeah. It's uh, be aware that in Mass Effect Two, you can actually get everybody killed. Uh, yes. Um. I I did manage uh, because I cheated because uh, I tried my best. I had maxed out all my relationships with all my characters. Oops. Um, and uh, I was still ending up getting like two characters killed in the final mission. And then I looked up yeah. what the correct choices to make were and managed <laughs> to get everybody else out alive. Because I know that there is, uh, there's probably what is there a trophy for for getting everyone killed? Because I know there's a trophy for giving, getting everyone out alive. No, uh, th there's no trophy for that. But Who's there? they actually make an ending for that. Like, it, oh if really? You, oh yeah, because yeah. they have the caskets for at least like when you get some killed. So I assume the same thing will happen. Now, does that mean Shepard gets killed too, or? <laughs> yeah, because uh, at the end where he's making that run towards the the Normandy two. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't quite here, make anyway. it, and as the only person left is Joker. Joker's not so able to do him up into the ship. Yeah, he's not able to lift him up to the ship, so Shepard's just like, uh, I forget what he says, but he lets go and falls to his death. But Joker gets the hell out of there, and uh, this place he's the one that kind of walks down past the shit. all the caskets. And sure stares thing. off into the distance like Shepard does with the at the end, and of course Joker makes a report to the uh, elusive man. I'm just like, you know what? It would Hold be on. completely be right awesome if um, Bioware had actually programmed like a little like uh, short thing like at the beginning of Mass Effect Three that if you got that ending and loaded that into Mass Effect Three. You know, they showed off Joker, but everybody dies, like, instantly, you know, like, you know, just kind of like a little Easter egg of that. Yeah, you, you, because you'd have Come to think, on. well, then if you don't have we Shepard there, here. like, the Reapers win. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm interested to see what's going to come out of, uh, out of Mass Effect 4. Um, especially, especially with some speculation I've heard where... They might be bringing Shepard back you relax? somehow. I'm coming. So I, I, could, I don't I don't know how that necessarily works, but I would be intrigued. There is that. Uh, I think it's uh, the destroy option where they show uh, Shepard take a breath after they kind of pan through some rubble and you see his or her armor. And it's like somehow Shepard survived there, the hell? and it's like. It's the only ending where he does, he or she does. Right. But it's like, what well, are they going to make that? Well, are they going to make one of these endings Was canon me? then? You know, I mean, they would have to. Tell me yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about. See, so this is why she thought John was her husband because there's the, devil that I'm the doppelganger witchcraft. for John. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I cannot rightly say. Boy, these door to door salesmen are so pushy. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. I mean, you, you think that they the would know? about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. And saying Mary. nothing. <laughs> Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. Or were you? There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's I think you doing. have a temper too, lady. She's a troubled mm. child for sure, but this is beyond her. 
Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. But they actually believe the little girl's a witch. What plan do we have? So it, it's following, um, like, uh, uh, the crucible a little bit where Mary has kind of made up these stories, be, to, you know, protect herself. And so, like, My she's accused wrong. her of, there is a witness um, to your wife speaking in tongues. of being, of consorting Who with the devil. My wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. That should have been a long time since I read the crucible. Into the Marshall's hands, your I'm, I'm very, I must uh, accompany her. She very well versed in the crucible. Well, Such I mean, I was, so not so much anymore. Cause. But, you Trust know, we did it as our... If you remember back at St. Mary's, we did the... You, di well, you, were in the uh, you were in the presidential election one, weren't you? Yeah. And so uh, for mine... Yeah, I played... Uh, this giving away my age, but I actually played Bob Dole. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. And um, so for our eighth grade, we did we did the Salem witch trials, and I was a judge. Andy Brogy was a judge, and I think uh, Greg Bettinghouse was a judge. And um, then ever you know we did that whole thing, but we you know watched uh, the movie version, and then in high Good school freak. junior What's year, you saw uh, something else, right? Student directed it at Bellbrook. Um, and then senior year at Taylor, um, uh, I actually was, was in it as, um, I think they could see and hear me, uh, Reverend Paris, I believe it was hard to tell exactly. They seemed uh, really so smooth. yeah, yeah. I, I've you got some else? very good, uh, Priest, very good experience with one it. from the playground. I don't know. It, it didn't very make good much play sense. based You're off of me. some very no. terrible things that happened. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in Little Hope. Maybe the devil uh, is in Little Hope. Did, uh, did your class still do uh, Paddington? Yes. Yes. Okay. We really screwed up Because I believe Instead I was Paddington in one of the... Right like, so, the of what town. was it? We had, like, three Paddingtons and three different, you know, sets of families, and I was Paddington in one of them. Um... Okay, I think that's actually probably going to be a good place to stop. We're we're a little bit early, but uh, I think that's a uh, because you know this what is just going to be investigating um, this police station, Let's so it's not like around. we're going to be doing much. It's see not going to be too much of the story through. Go. So uh, we'll this is where we'll go ahead and, and cut it here once uh, once we get a chance to stop it, and probably perfect time because the dog is up and moving around. So who knows what she's going to do. <laughs> This place is a real dump, even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar. How can you tell? They all, all these buildings look the same. You got right? a big time criminal past we don't know about. It's a dilapidated town. Serial jaywalker. These small town police stations all look the same. I mean, do you spend en enough time in small town police stations? Because I don't. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> There's got to be a phone in here. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to return to the main menu. Um, I want to thank anyone who, who may have just been sitting back and watching uh, with us here on the, on the live stream or anyone that's going to watch this in the replay. Uh, you know, if you're not already subscribed and everything, I need to be better at saying this at the beginning and at the end, uh, but <laughs> subscribe to the channel, like share all that, all that jazz. Um, and thank you, Johnny, for joining me again. It was like last minute, so I really appreciate. Uh, Thanks you know, for the, having me. The, well, and the the fact that you also had changes in your plans tonight too, <laughs> that, <laughs> that that helped a little bit. I, I was prepared Total, to yeah. do this solo, but uh, it's always nice to have a, a you know someone to bounce stuff off of uh, while we're while we're doing this. So, all right, guys. Well. Uh, We'll we'll be back. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a, sh a live stream on Thanksgiving or not, um, but we'll definitely be doing another another play on this on uh, next Saturday, uh, and then look forward to Monday's review of Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm sure we're gonna have some really good discussions uh, about that film. And um, all right, we'll we'll talk to you guys next time. All right.